Hey Gandhi, it's a uh, hunt weekend. It's hunt competition weekend, actually hunting and fishing competition weekend. The Rewalker hunting and fishing competition. This is Simon's cat called Gorse, and Simon just told me she comes to the whistle. She thinks she's a dog. How the hell she's bloody managed to survive around here with all the pig dogs? And in the back here we've got Simon's new pup, and you're not going to believe the name, it's called Pink, just like my one. How the hell that happened, I don't know. Right, good to go. Excited? Yeah. We just uh, smashed it down a low box because we were in a wee bit of rough terrain up here and it's quite steep and it's quite slippery. Bit of native, bit of pine. I always love it when the two mix. Yeah. You'll find the pigs right in between, generally. My dogs get excited, nose is up in the air, starting to sniff stuff. We are in the zone, and this is when the heart rate goes up and the excitement factor gets a little bit more than just driving down the highway. It's like a bit of rain here last night, so I see uh, the mark down there this looks like a sow about it, so 80 or 90 pound. Not a bad pig. It's going to come all the way up the hill. Yeah. Got a good pig mark on the trip here. It's a classic pig rooting, getting the hoo hoo grubs. These are all the holes of the hoo hoo grubs. And I've uh, been down here having a good old chomp. There's been pigs around here. Got a bit of rooting. The boys up here with the dogs. More rooting here. Down here. This is the part where I put the camera away. The dog's on the pig. You have to watch the rest on the other channel. <sighs> I just uh, dropped the guts out of this pig here. It's a bloody long pig. And uh, my dogs, Poe and Pace, and also Tig, which caught this pig have now gone to join B, my other dog, which is currently on another pig with the main dog that Simon's got, Dot. Treed at 224. Tre treed? Yeah. Brilliant. Now, got it, but we're down here, so they're actually close to the top. So we'll carry this pig out and we'll get to the top. And, uh, oh, no. not treed, no? No. Yeah, that's because that's they're standing with the guys. You see, young guys, they're always premature. They get excited too soon. Found sport. Not too bad. Okay, Karen up there, bud. Yeah. Be back in. Good boy, B. Having a little nana nap, are you? What up? Come on, mate. Halfway to the top. Big lively on your feet, come on. I'm carrying this bloody phone. It's fucking uh. heavy. You know how heavy one of these galaxies are? Come on, boy. Invariably the blood runs down his crack You filthy bastard Covered in the mud You smelly bugger It's thinking of sweat and blood You manky mongrel Cripes What a state You dirty filthy bastard Hold on You want me mate? Didn't say you could stop, give you on. <laughs> Come on boy, dig in. The joys of pushing young fellas hard, eh? He's come right from the bottom. This is why he's in the A-team, because he's made of the tough stuff. A lot of guys would have folded by now, but not Jody. He's got that killer instinct, which I fucking love from people. Pushing all the way. Jody, you got time for a personal question? It's uh, Thursday today, and technically normally you'd be in school. Are you sure you wouldn't rather be in school right now? I'm pretty certain. We're back up the top out of the pines with that pig. Now, back on the main track. Yeah. 
So this one came out on the road and scared the shit out of all of us. It actually stood its ground and I've got it on the other camera, not on my phone. It's a nice bore, probably go hundy. Okay, right out. No cracker. Right. Hello Bruno. Hey boy. Back home. Well that was a very successful hunt. A nice sow, I think she weighed 73 pounds and the boar was, was it 87 I think? Jeez, I can't even remember. Hey dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Who's that, eh? Good dogs. We're gonna feed you some chunky, yes we are. Actually, we might give you some posse yum. I'm tired. I've done the hard yards. G'day, mate. How you going? Talk's already in the kennels waiting to be fed. That was a few nuts from this morning. There you go. Well, you dropped it quickly before Ducky gets it. Oh, you're lucky, Bruno. Oh, chicken robbed you. Both sit. Not for B. Not for B. B, come. B, B come, B come, B come, good boy B, Po, eat up, good girl, it's your dinner, B in your box, place in your box, stay, mmm, good tucker eh, I'm actually going to give these guys some more after this, you're not sharing very well there B, a bit of wool out of there, right? Pulled your blanket apart. Poe eating like a lady, very slowly. Good girl. Let me give you guys some more. We'll get a big day tomorrow. Eat up. You finished already, Pa, eh? No, you finished already, you want some more? Why not? You, Po, you're getting double helpings because you've hunted well. There you go, you can have double. You can eat as much as you want. Good morning, how are you doing? We are uh, having a cup of tea right now. And then we're going fishing. Right, we'll uh, tow this trailer out of here without breaking anything and hit the road. Today we're going to be chasing Kahawai. That's the only fish we're really trying to catch because there's no snapper out in the bay that we know of. And if we can find a boil up, we'll catch a fish. If we don't, we'll just come home with nothing. It's going to be either smash them or nothing at all. But the competition we're going in has fin fish, and Kahawai are a legitimate fin fish. And they're good fun to catch, eh, mate? They're awesome. Fucking awesome. You hit a, hit a boil up a Kahawai, and it's like hitting a a school of trout all on pee. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just say that? It's absolutely bloody beautiful down here today. It's also rock bottom low tide, which is going to make it difficult to get across the bar. Wicked, here comes my father. Dad's got a neurological problem which is completely fucked his balance, but he can still get round in that little mobile. Morning, Dad! Didn't think she was going to go, but she started. 
The tide's starting to come on. Hopeful, mate. Hopeful. Bloody oath. We're out quite far. We're trying to find birds working on the water somewhere. We're doing a big old pan. There's a couple way out there. There's some way out there, but nothing to sort of show maybe that there might be some boil up going on with Kahawai, which we're trying to find. So we're just going to keep on heading straight out to sea. There's a whole lot of birds out here, just sitting on the water. And out further, Jody, there's a few birds flying. Yeah, but we're looking for a boil up. These guys are just waiting for what we're waiting for, for fish to rise on the surface. There's also a few behind us, a few birds circling on that too. Just keep your eyes peeled for, for birds working. There's birds moving around, eh? Further out to sea, there's quite a lot of uh, bird action, but no boil ups happening. Maybe further out, there is actually some boil up out there, way out there we can't see. We are on the board with a nice kawaii, and it had a shark chasing it. And it was just bizarre, really, eh, mate? That's crazy. Oh, there's fish out here, so that's good. Happy days. That was our kahawai for our bit of fishing. We had to work hard to get them, eh, mate? We worked hard. Bloody hard. And uh, it's competition weekend this weekend with the reward for hunting and fishing comp. And the rule said that you've got to catch your own fish. I entered Jody in it, but he didn't catch a fish. Sorry, mate. We're rolling. So today is competition day and I've got Cuzzy bro with me. Cuzzy's been away on the island of, uh, what's it called the island? Cebu Palau. No, Palau Cebu. <laughs> Palau Cebu. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah. Indonesia is it? No, it's Malaysia. Malaysia, yeah. okay. And he's been spearfishing and he's got no footage because he dropped his phone. <laughs> and he also smashed his head up, he's still scarred. Yeah. Oops, we'll drop the phone. So it's competition day, they're a walker hunting and fishing competition and Oh, I'm going to go and pick up one of the pigs we caught. So young Jody's got something to weigh in. The other pig has gone to one of the other fellas we're hunting with. And I'm weighing in one kahawai. Because I don't really have to weigh anything. I'm, I'm, I'm already winning. We've arrived at the cop. And through here we've got young Jody. He's been working all day. Weighing in possums and hares. Here he goes. Has a stop, mate. Stop. You look a bit rude here again. I'm a little bit tired. A bit tired? My legs are cooked. Is that after carrying that pig out? Yep. Well, you carried two out of that yeah. 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 Looking a bit sore, but keep it going, pal. I'll try the pig carry. Good on you, man. Well done. Good job. Yeah. There's plenty of day left yet. Yeah. He looks a bit tired, doesn't he? Yeah. He's alright. He's alright. I'm good. Bloody nice looking snapper there. Look at the size of that kingy. Jeez, it's a monster, a horse of a fish. Suddenly my kahawai's looking very sad amongst all these other fish. This guy's working tired, I see to get all the animals in before 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock is the cutoff point for weighing. Got a few animals on the back. And fish. Yeah. Got an ice pick. Still alive, Cam? Just. Just. Oh, that's a nice ball. <laughs> so, Cuzzy's going to take this back and put it in the bin because he's taking it home to his mum and she will make sashimi! <laughs> Okay, boy. You know where to find the truck? Yeah. Okay. See you then. Clock's ticking. Boys are racing to get to the, the weigh-in on time. So, Cuzzy's going to take us back and put it in the bin because he's taking it home to his mum and she will make sashimi!
Should we watch the competition that pisses everybody off? The possum throwing. Everybody gets pissed off at the possum throwing. No, you can't do that. It's a fucking piece of meat. Dead. How many articles do you reckon oh. are going to be written about this? Oh, mate, it's just fucking silly, isn't it? Last yeah. year there was three. It's mostly silly, folks. It's cool. They're fucking dead. Yeah, you going to throw a possum? We'll give it a go. Are there any spots there for the possum throwing? Oh, I'm sure there is. Come around and talk to him. Nice throw. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. 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 Oh, that's a good one. Daniel's just given me these uh, lanyards for young fellas. So is it for like just duck shooting gear, like yeah, all your jewellery yeah, around your neck? Your jewellery around your neck. Yeah. yeah so it's just, it's got six call six double rings on it, so you can put yep. six calls on it, but you can take them off if you haven't got that many calls. Oh, it's bloody good, uh, mate. Yeah. So, so yeah. thank you very much, and I will pass those on. Yeah, all good. Awesome. Now we've got the heavyweights, men's rowing. You can throw them, bro. Nah. Oh, go on, give it a crack. <laughs> Whoa. Get some height. Oh, got the technique. That's a beauty. New time record. It was hydroplaning that one. Oh, that's a beauty too. Love they hit the water. Oh, he's sinking, he's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> that possum had a lot of extra rain on it. It got heavier as it got wetter. It's unfair. I chucked it in the puddle, so. It's a keen bloke. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> do, do a swing, do a whole circle, mate. <laughs> That wasn't a circle. Sure. You're supposed to do a circle. You didn't listen. You gotta start listening to me, pal. Good try, anyway. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> Give it assholes. <laughs> you had some height there, girl. Oh, nice. Have to ask you, Simon, you're the organiser of the whole bloody thing. Hey, you holding out? organiser. You're not? Well, I am, but we've got a committee that organises. Yeah, well, you're the uh, president, aren't you? Yeah. So, you're the organiser. How are you going so far? No, it's going good, no problems. Um, Rain's holding off. He just told me he was over it. <laughs> Can't tell us the truth. <laughs> I'm over it. I wanted to finish, but it's going good. You're going well, man. Yeah. yeah. The weather's like, it's it's fine for a minute, there's it's shit, eh? Like, comes and goes. It's that squally, showery, mm. snowy stuff, eh? Yeah. But, nah. We'll get there. Got the country got a stand here today. So it's the children's pig carrying competition. That's a big pig. Oh, gotta keep your head up. He's laughing. Still smiling. Keep your head up, fella. Oh, he's down again. And all his mates are cracking up at him. Now he's keeping his head up. Good boy. 
Whoa, good boy. Keep your head up. Oh. Special prize for this fella. We're going hard. Oh, this young lady's one to watch last year. She smashed it. She's fine. She is fine. She's flying. It's the man's pig carrying competition, and Jody's going to have a crack. I'm just saying to him the trick is to have your head up all the time. Don't put it down in small steps, and this guy's away. He's, oh, he's got the, she's it's wet. It's going to be a lot harder. Slippery. <laughs> so have you got my second hot tip? Because last time I told you you forgot. What's my second hot tip? Don't go too fast. Don't go too fast when you're getting close to the point you've got to turn around. Otherwise you will slide in the wet shit. Slow down early. Yeah. Oh, we've got a camera going? Oh, is it round this one? Over, over the bag, round the spear, just around the end. Yeah, back round the peg and over the bag. Yeah, over the spear. On your mark, get set, go! He's up. He's looking good. He's got good coordination. Yeah. He's sliding down nicely before he gets to it. Oh, he's got this down. Technique. Woohoo. 1910. Whoa, good time. On your marks. Get set. Go. She's wet. Over the bag. 18.9. Oh! 18.9. That's the winning. So that was Pat, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> Remember what I told you, Jody? 18.9. I think the kids are still beating us. 18.1. We've got a bag. Remember, keep that head up, Jody. Right. On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> Good skills, boy. Hit up, hit up, hit up, hit up. 18, 6, 8. 18, 6, 8. That's the winning one at the moment, isn't it? Good boy. Put it there so far. Well done. You applied what I told you, and it worked, didn't it? It did. Hey? Oh. oh, he's going for it. Oh. Gumboot power. <laughs> oh, he's going good. Bloody good. Jeez, that was fast. 19.01. Guys that are shorter and stocky have an advantage. Mm. Their centre of gravity is lower. This guy could beat you, mate. What do you reckon? Going to clean you up? I reckon. I think he could, eh? Get set. Go. He's got good coordination. Oh, he's looking bloody. Oh, that's fast. Yeah, that's. Oh, he's. Uh, no, he's. No. Oh. I bet that really pissed you off, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. Bad luck, mate. Got a winner. Right, come and get your prize. Well done, Jody. Good one there, boy. Good man. Jody's been working the last three days hard and he's won that, so it's bloody good. Jody, well done. Camera. Well done. What do you got there, mate? Men's pig carrying. That's a good one to win, dude. It is. You smashed it, boy. You were up against some some seasoned competition too. You guys have done it a lot more than you have. Geez, you've carried a few in the last couple of days, Jody. Then it's going to taste good tonight. Working hard. Keep your head up. Good boy. Stoked?
pretty stoked. That's a good title to have, bro. Good on you, man. That's awesome. Well done. Well, $40. He's well worth it. 42 42 out the back. 42 I got 50 I got $50 on my side. $50 on my side here. 50 50 50 Who's going to give me 52 I got $50. Come on, don't be stingy. I got $50. Let's go, let's go, let's go. $50. So, thank you. Goes in the pot. Hey. Uh, who's going to give me $50? I got... How much? 60 I have $60 straight up. Who's going to give me 65 I got $60. $60. You can't even get him this cheap. $60. He's still alive. He's still beautiful. I have $60. Who's going to give me 65 Who's going to give me 65 65 I have $60. 65 70 I have 70 now. $70 out here. I have $70 in front. $70 in front. <laughs> and that is half for us. Sold to the gentleman over the back there. 80! Are you allowed to add to that? Right, right, that must be a big wallet. $80 here. Now you're going to go 85. Are you going to add 85? I have $80 down here. I have $80 down here. $80. I have a bit of $80. And who's going to give me another five? I have $80. $80. $80. Hey? No one. No one. No one. Okay, $80 here. $80 to the lady, and it's gone. <laughs> Tell me about the pig you shot. Um, Were you with these guys here? Yeah, he's with, yeah. Oh no, he wasn't with them. So who helped him get it? Did he get it all by himself? Or yeah, did you... yeah, I shot it myself. So did you have an adult with you? Yeah, um, yeah I shot it with Dad. Awesome. And how big was it? It was 115 pounds. That's a good pig, mate. Yeah. Sour or boar? It was a, big, it was a boar and its tusks were about that big. Jeez, no tall story? That big, really? Yeah. That, yeah. Well, it's, that, it's truly that big. Well, I believe you. You did better than me. Did, you, did I? Well, yeah, I gave mine to to other people, but um, oh. yeah, we only got a we got a sow and we got a boar that was about eighty seven, not as big as yours. So you you cleaned up, man. Well oh, done. Yeah. I hope I get the. I hope I win because all the big pigs have got yellow tags on them, and that's adults. I hope you win too, man. That's awesome. What's your name? William. Put it there, pal. And well done. Good shot. Where did you hit it? In the engine room or in the head? Um, so he was angled like that and then I am there so because it, it was angled like really badly angled. Right. Were well, you shooting from above? And then, no, we were shooting from flat yep. and then I shot him in there. Yep. It didn't actually pop his guts and it went right in and blew his lungs up and his gut and we weren't actually aiming for his guts but <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't even pop his it didn't even pop his guts, which is really That's good. really good. You went right through the engine room and stopped him. Yep. So what rifle are you using? 260. Okay. Carbon light. Good it's, gun. And it's really light. How did you guys go? I oh, went out this morning with William's dad. And yeah. oh, we got a 92 pound boar. That's good gun, man. That could win yeah. an average weight. Yeah. Easily. And what else we get? 80 pounds south. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you had a good run. Yeah. I stuck in both. You stuck in both? Yeah. Were you with him? No, we went out fishing but didn't catch much. Yeah, I went fishing too. I got two kahawai. That was my lot. What did you get? Uh, we got a few cod and stuff. You had a bit of me then, pal. Yeah, couldn't yeah. catch kangaroo. Where would you go fishing? Or can I not ask you that question? We went out to Stevens. Okay, good going. What, this morning? Um, no, Friday. How was the weather? Pretty rough. Yeah, pretty shit, eh? It was well, all right, though. Good to meet you guys. Hey, yeah, have a good day. Good luck with your uh, fish weigh-in. Cheers. And uh, I hope that you win. Well done. Thank you. i got to go get my harmonica because we're going to make some music. Lorraine has finally stopped and behaved itself enough to uh, do a little bit of entertainment for all these guys out here. I'm going to play a little bit of harmonica and keep everybody uh, amused while they tally up all of the weights and work out who gets what prizes. There's some bloody amazing prizes. Just look behind me here. Got all these tucks. Jeez, I wouldn't mind winning some of those. Heaps of fishing gear. A shitload of children's prizes. These are all kids' prizes to give away. I'll be giving these away to kids that are uh, participating. Just a whole load of stuff. And that's just part of it. There's stuff inside as well, so it's amazing what's out here today. Good turnout of hunters and a good turnout of animals. Considering the rain was so bloody shitty, people just come out here and dump. It's just, just part of that really amazing uh, community, hunting community spirit. How are you going, guys? Yeah. Are you going to win a prize? Well, I'll be giving prizes away to people that can sing and clap in time. Put your hands together!
something okay have you who has not got one of those so far you haven't got one not me well done good job you guys you're not gonna believe us tell them what you won mate i won the average weight sow it's fucking awesome man it's so cool hey i'm stoked are you happy i gave it to you i'm happy you gave it to me so what was the prize bud it is soft shell vest yeah wicked you don't even know what's in there. Oh, mate. That is wicked. Oh, dude, I'm so happy for you. I am stoked. Oh, man, you eat it too, brother. <laughs> oh, look at this. What is that? Are they pants? Yeah. Wicked. And pants as well. It's so That's wicked. So you've won the men's, not the, not the kids, you won the men's pig carrying competition out of all the men that went in that. And... Average weight sour, which I said you could win. I was, did. You did, bro. <laughs> Put it there again. Thank uh, you. He has worked so hard with me the last two days, and he volunteered. He gave up hunting day to volunteer to help at the competition, and he's won two prizes. It's fantastic. Stoked. That is the end of a good weekend, man. I'm stoked for you too. <laughs> Make sure you take that pig home and you uh, do your skinning practice on it, eh? Because I'm giving that to you as well to take home for me. Really good. Your mum's picking you up. Yeah. We'll grab your fishing rod out of my truck because it's still there, yeah? Don't forget that. We've had an awesome three days. And uh, good luck with your own bits and pieces out there. Whether you're going to the competition or not, the main thing is you're just out there doing it. One inch just a bonus. You certainly won, pal. <laughs> Big time. Be good. Can't be good, then what? Be careful. Be careful. See you later. Put your hands together. Two, three, four. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. 